The Labour Party's health spokesperson, Annette King, visited Havelock North this afternoon. I asked for her assessment of the community situation. It's serious. Um, I have met with Red Cross and civil defence people and they have told me that the doors they're knocking on, they are seeing up to 50% of the people that they're talking to have been affected. Um, I've spoken to business people, their businesses closed, uh, loss of business, very, very worried. I've spoken to people on the street who are angry because their family members are so sick. So it is a very serious situation here in Havelock North. What needs to happen? What needs to be an immediate and meaningful response? Well, to get the water right, of course, because you know people rely on water not just for drinking, but for so many different uh, uses that can affect their health. So getting the water right so it can be used again, so businesses can open, um, so that people can get back to normal. But, but I have to say the leadership on this has been incredibly poor. If this had been a flood, you would have had everybody here and, and everybody running around trying to help on the first day. But we really have had very slow action um, up here in the Hawke's Bay and they're angry about that. If we look at uh, this area over the past couple of years, 2014, December, harmful bacteria and wastewater released into the Tukituki River. 2013, bacterial co contamination present in the Havelock North water supply. And there are many more examples. Should the situation have been resolved before now? Well, I think it should have been because one of the disturbing reports that I have read is that the, the last incursion they had um, nine months ago, that a report was to be undertaken and they're still waiting for the results of that report. Why hasn't it been finished? Why hasn't it been provided? Perhaps it could have prevented this event. Um, so it seems to me that it hasn't been taken as seriously as it should have been. You know, quality of water is a first world uh, standard in New Zealand. Uh, and what we're seeing here is what you'd expect in a third world country. Annette King, 